Hey everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Wes Davies, and today I'm super excited because this is the first video of my new video series where I explore Taiwan's incredible, unique, diverse, and most importantly, delicious food and street food that you can find all across the island. So I'm gonna be taking you to some of my favorite restaurants, showing you some of my favorite food that I've found over my three years living in Taiwan. So I hope you'll follow me on this food adventure tour. I'm hungry, it's lunchtime, let's go eat. So when I think about Taiwan and Taiwanese food, pretty much the first dish that comes to my mind is of course niro mian, beef noodle soup. I would say that this is perhaps the most well-known national dish of Taiwan. Oh, hey man. Hey, how's it going man? Pretty good. So I'm just filming a video here, uh, it's lunchtime, are you getting hungry? I was actually sitting here thinking about food, so yes. Yeah, what are you waiting for the bus? I was gonna catch the bus, I can catch it later though. I mean, uh, you wanna get something to eat? Yeah, you got like 45 minutes? I think I can manage to spare 45 <laughs> minutes. So as you guys may know, this is Cole Fogel. You may have seen him in one of my previous videos. We went to the Miaolin Butterfly Conservation Area. We did eat some food in that video, if you guys saw. What did we eat again? Yeah, I know, I was just reacting as soon as you mentioned Miaolin. Uh, yeah, we ate street rat. Yeah, street mountain rat. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe we can change our memories that we have eating together today. So as I said, we were in Yongcheng district here in southern Kaohsiung city. So you hungry? I'm ready to go. All right, let's go eat. All right, so this is the Gongyuan Niuro Mian restaurant right here in southern Kaohsiung. And apparently this place is so famous that people from Taipei come all the way down here just to try the famous beef noodle soup. This place has been up and running for over 60 years, third generation of the same family. I cannot wait, I'm getting super hungry. Let's go inside and check this place out. Uh, yao yiga ganda. Yiga ganda. Yiga tangda. Yiga tangda. Zhu chao. Zhu chao. Okay. Oh, you're so very All right, so the food has arrived. Luckily, it's not too busy in here. I have been here in the past where there was literally a line out the door, people waiting. As I mentioned, this place is super, super famous in Kaohsiung and even all around Taiwan. You said movie stars have come here? Yeah, apparently if you go online and read about this place, yeah, movie stars have been here. And they said something about Chiang Kai-shek, but then we We're asked the lady sure. and she said no, so I don't know. If you guys know if Chiang Kai-shek has ever been here, let us know. But check these noodles out. So we got two versions. This one is the gunmian, the dry version. And just look how many noodles. This is like noodle heaven right here. This bowl is just heavy with these dense, chewy, bouncy noodles. I can't believe it. And then we've also got the tang version, the soup version. And this one, I think it's almost the same, except you can see that there's this light soy sauce broth in there as well. This seems like a lot of noodles. Look, you can see it's, it's literally overflowing the bowl. Inside, you've got just tons of pieces of this beef. Can we just stop talking about it? Let's just start eating. I, I, I mean, yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I feel like I want to watch Wes eat and see what his reaction is. Mmm. Yeah? Oh yeah. I'm gonna go right into the beef here. That is so good. Oh. So these noodles are perfectly cooked, a little bit al dente. And I think maybe because we were filming a little bit, it gave it a chance for the, the, uh, the oils and the broth to kind of soak right into those noodles and really shiny with oil. This is so good. Oh man. Yeah, they're like firm. Like just the right, yeah, delicious. The beef, man. This is gonna keep me going for days probably. This is so hearty, it's so delicious. You know what, I heard a story. In the past, cows were kind of considered off limits in terms of their viability to be used as a food source. Because in the olden days, they would use oxes and cows to help them plow the fields. So the cows were a work animal in Taiwan. And it wasn't really until the, uh, the Chinese came over, the KMT, came over to Taiwan and they actually introduced a version of beef noodle soup into Taiwan. And it was actually the people, the soldiers from Sichuan province who came to actually Kaohsiung and they lived in the military villages up in Nanzi. And those were the ones who introduced the idea of adding soy sauce into the broth to give it that, what do they call it, the, the red braised beef version of the beef noodle soup, which is the one that became popular in Taiwan. I wonder if the average person here would know this story. That's a pretty cool little and so they kind of changed the perception of, of cows from being a work animal, which you're not supposed to eat, 
to actually being much more widely accepted as a food source. And I wanted to interject because my wife's family still will not eat they won't cow eat beef. because of what you said. They had a farm in Tainan and it was a working animal, so it's more, yeah, it's a respect thing. They won't eat beef. And I just thought it was so neat that they said those KMT veterans landed in Kaohsiung and that's where they developed this very specific kind of beef noodle soup that became popular in Taiwan. Leave a comment below. Where have you heard is the beginnings of beef noodle soup in Taiwan? Is it Kaohsiung? Do you agree with that? Look at that piece right there. There's a huge chunk of, I think it's probably the, the, the beef heel. That's traditionally what they make the meat from. Just this huge piece of gelatinous cartilage. Let's give that a shot. Wes, is a, you're a hot sauce guy, right? So I totally forgot about the hot sauce here. Usually every beef noodle soup will provide you with some really, really nice chili sauce. I'm just gonna put that on here. Oh yeah. And this is something that I usually don't see at beef noodle soup restaurants, but this is just pureed garlic. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that and let's mix that around here. There we go. Just mix in those chili peppers, mix in the garlic. Oh yeah, and look at that. Underneath, you've just got this. Oh, all the beef sunk to the bottom. Look at that. Okay. Mmm. Wow. Okay, that's what you gotta do. Add the chili sauce, add the pureed garlic. Okay, that just took this to the next level, seriously. That is beef noodle heaven right there. Is it hot? It's hot, eh? Mmm. I mean, it just took this from being very traditional and delicious tasting yeah. to kind of like just blowing all my taste buds away. Just, mmm. Just giving it that kick. Destroying your taste buds. <laughs> Destroying my taste buds in a good way. <laughs> in a really good way. This thing is just fighting with my taste buds right now in the most extreme and delicious way. I can respect that. Look at those noodles. So good. Oh yeah. I'm really, really enjoying this, seriously. What a fantastic lunch. I am really, really impressed with this place. Gong Yuan, Niu Rou Mian, Beef Noodle Soup Restaurant. I will put the address right down below. Without further ado, let's go take, take a walk, burn off some calories, and we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I don't think you'll get that in every beef noodle place. Like, I think that's it's pretty special. I yeah, know. this place is quite special. So Cole and I are just taking a bit of a breather after that amazing lunch. I uh, just went for a walk and I was flying my drone and I found this bridge. I had heard about this bridge. I've seen it on Instagram. It's called the Great Bay Bridge and I believe it's, it's brand new. So there's tons of people coming here to take pictures. It's sort of like the new tourist attraction here in Kaohsiung. It's right by Pier 2. And uh, I ran into my friend Lauren. He's down there uh, talking with Cole and he let us know that Kaohsiung is literally transforming this section of the bay into kind of a more livable and community space, green space. Uh, I guess this whole era used to be very industrial, full of ships coming in and shipping containers, but nowadays uh, they're really, really doing a great job to clean this place up. Uh, you can see the whole Kaohsiung skyline right there behind me, so I just can't wait to see the improvements that they eventually make. Uh, to this city and every year it just gets nicer and nicer and you can just see you know everyone is really loving just this new very very beautiful very pleasant place to to spend your day by the water I think I think Kaohsiung City is doing a, a really great job recently So we are finished our walkabout. Burned off a lot of calories, I think. We, we checked out the river, that was really cool. And now we're at the beef noodle soup spot. It's called Mianjia, or Jun. And from what I saw, this place is super, super cool. Uh, it's got these extra thick pulled noodles. I can't wait to try it out. Let's go inside, check it out. Okay, and I've never actually seen anything like this in Taiwan. It's a very small interior. And look at these old tables. They're actually old desks uh, that the students would have used. They've got the little table numbers here, the little pencil holders. Uh, this is so cool. Let's just grab a seat. 
Perfect. All right, so Cole and I have just sat down here at the restaurant. Honestly, this beef noodle soup, it looks night and day different than the last one we had, right? Totally different, Completely yeah. Completely different. This broth is much darker than the soup broth that you had this afternoon. The pieces of beef are way, way different. These ones are almost more like uh, random in the way that they're cut. This one, it just like anything, anything goes with, with these pieces of it's beef. It's more wild. Yeah, it's very, very wild. And obviously you saw the noodles on this bowl. They're literally the size of lasagna noodle sheets. They're literally noodle sheets. They're, they call them belt noodles, hand pulled belt noodles. I have not seen that before, so that is pretty I've never seen special. that before. That's why I came here, because I saw the pictures of the noodles, and I just had to come try. So I'm just gonna give the broth and the beef uh, a, a try here. Hmm, okay. So this is very much more your typical Taiwanese beef noodle soup flavor. Yeah, this is what I'm accustomed to. Yeah, this is much more regular in Taiwan, I would yeah, say. So the other one definitely had its own uniqueness. This Very reminds unique. me of, I don't. I hate to use the term mainstream. This reminds me of... I was gonna say run of the mill. Run of the mill, yeah. Beef yep. noodle broth. Yeah. Let's give the beef a try. Mm. Still very tender. A little bit fatty. The fat on the other one was a little bit tougher. This is more loose, kind of breaks apart in your mouth. It does, it does. It melts a bit in your mouth. That's that's really tasty. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go for one of these noodles. Yeah, I, I wanna watch like, you eat it. I don't even Do know. not do this on a first date. No, don't, probably don't bring your first date uh, to this noodle shop. I mean, shop. so many foods you should not do on a first date in Taiwan. Mm. Good? Really good. The noodles. The noodles, it's all about those thick noodles at this place. Yeah, I would say the broth and the beef are fairly standard. But I mean, look at this. This is just sheet noodle heaven here. We're eating beef noodle soup with lasagna noodles. Beef noodle lasagna. And if you're not in for like literally an overload of noodles in your bowls, you can also get the regular la mien version, the, uh, the regular noodles. That's the one, yeah, that's the one yeah. I got here. Yeah, that's what Cole got. I got a little bit of soy sauce and she said it was extra hot. She did say that to me, so I took a chili. Tiny, a tiny little bit. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of the chili and give that a nice mix. Oh, look at that. Right away, you can just see, you can see that broth. It just turns a little bit red with that chili oil. Look at that. Do so you see how the oil and the fat just flows to the top? Mm. I am just loving those huge those huge noodles. I've never seen anything like it before in Taiwan. Wow, they're so thick and they are chewy. And just look at that. You're, you're literally having a noodle overload. It's hard to eat them. And before we forget, we also got this. And you can see her back there in the kitchen. So what, they, what she does is she lays kind of a watery starch down on the pan. And then she puts the dumplings down and she just covers it and fries it. And then she did the flip. I, 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 I'll take a video of it. She does the flip and then uh, and then it shows up like this like a little Dumpling house on the top of your plate like it's quite it's quite unique unique looking. Yeah, and it's sort of like crispy on the top and Dumplings underneath or you can just oh neat. I guess you just pick the dumplings out like that Mmm this is maybe the kind of thing you need to eat right out of the pan. I bet you this would be a lot more crispy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think we're just going to enjoy our meal here. I would definitely recommend this place, if only because I've never seen huge belt, hand-pulled lasagna beef noodles like that in my entire life. Definitely worth the trip just to experience this. And I don't even want to compare this one to, to the first one because totally different style. Very different style. Both enjoyable in their own way. I think that's the thing about beef noodle soup in Taiwan yeah. is every single restaurant will have their own style. Yeah. And I'm also gonna add, I think the dumplings are quite unique as well. Yeah, very unique. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, we're all finished with dinner. That was super interesting beef noodles. I mean, I've never had one like that before in my life. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today, man. Yeah, man. Always a pleasure. I'm looking forward to part three, but as you said, not today. Yeah, for, for you guys, it's gonna be in a couple seconds. For us, we're gonna wait a couple of days. We're a little bit Taibala at the moment. I'm gonna show you my third and final favorite beef noodle soup restaurant in Kaohsiung. So stay tuned for that right now. Hey everybody, how's it going? So through the magic of time travel, 
Actually, through the magic of editing, we are here, Cole and I, exactly one week after we tried those two delicious beef noodle soup restaurants. Are you hungry? Uh, I've only had coffee today. I am ready to eat. Yeah, exactly the same for me. So I found a beef noodle shop right down the street, right around the corner from this beautiful temple, which is called the Sanfeng Temple here in Sanming District. Uh, we're just gonna walk around here, get a bit of an appetite going, and then I'm gonna show you this really, really special beef noodle soup restaurant. Uh, as I said, just around the corner. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. It's a little bit different than most of your Taiwanese beef noodle soup restaurants. Cole, can you eat spicy? Normally no, but I'm <laughs> up for an adventure today. All right, that sounds great. Let's go. All right, so we've just sat down here and this is called Chongxin Xiaomian. And they've let me know that they're actually using recipes from uh, a city called, or a province in China called Chongqing. It's just a little bit east of Sichuan province. You know Sichuan is some of my favorite food in the entire world. I like things spicy and flavorful. So I can't wait to try this specific version of Niu Rou Mian, the almost like Sichuan beef noodle soup. And I think we've got some pretty interesting things on the menu just their regular Niu Rou Mian. And then for Cole, we are getting this very, very special, uh, very unique Di Gua Mian. Like, it's made of sweet potato noodles. I can't wait for you to try that. And then we have to get the, the Hong Yo, the red oil wontons. So uh, let's go. Let's go see what they're cooking in the kitchen. Okay guys, the food has arrived. I am absolutely loving the way this stuff looks. It's so beautiful, it's so colorful. It looks spicy. It is spicy, it's gonna be spicy. So we have three dishes, as I think I mentioned. Uh, this one I always love, it's the Hong Yo spicy wontons. I have the regular beef noodle soup with the regular noodles. And because Cole doesn't always like to eat too much gluten, so he got the very special uh, Di Gua, the sweet potato noodles. So both bowls are full of Tons of amazing ingredients. And we have little tiny chickpeas, fried chickpeas, which I think is gonna give it a nice crunch. We have some greens, I think some cilantro, and chopped up green onions. And then, so, this, uh, and then this unique... Yeah, check out those noodles, so unique. Sweet potato noodles, which I'm excited about. What do you What do you think about the color? You intimidated at all? It looks very red. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I wanna try the soup first. It's not that spicy, right? No, I, like I can, I can taste it. Remnants, it's yeah, that's not too strong. Oh, this is good. It's good. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. And I can nice. taste the cilantro. Yeah. And maybe there's some vinegar in it as well. Mm -hmm. And those chickpeas are so crunchy, which is something that I've never seen in Taiwan. Fried chickpeas right in the beef noodle soup. Oh and wow. For whatever reason, they stay really crunchy even mm. when they're floating in the, in the broth. Deep beefy flavor, like. Look at these chunks of beef, they are massive. Uh, I was commenting off camera, I think that the beef here is the... I am so sorry. <laughs> Did that get on your nice white shirt? Uh, it's actually no. It got on my nice orange pants, but we're good. Oops, sorry buddy. I still love you, Wes. The hazards of filming with Wes Davies, huh? Mm. Oh. So tender. apart in your mouth. That might be the best beef we've had. That's might be the best beef I've ever had. Okay, look at that piece of beef. It's just full of fat and tendon, and it is so thick. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. I wanna wipe my pants. Okay, you go wipe your pants. If I do it now. Oh. Mm. This is so good. All right, man, it's time to try the spicy Hongyo red oil wontons. You ready for this? So I feel like this is gonna be spicier than this. Let's find out. The idea here is to mix it just a little bit, get some of those red chili flakes and chili oil 
infused into these wontons in all those little pockets here. Oh my god, these are, yeah, this food, this restaurant is phenomenal. Do you like it? I really like this place, yeah. And I think that this will be, of the three, for my wife who likes spice, and, if, and for those of you watching that like spice, I think you'll really, really enjoy this place. This is one of my favorite places in Kaohsiung, easily. Because I was th like, I really enjoyed the first one, the first spot that we went, the famous one. And I was like, how can Wes top that place? And then you brought me here. Yeah, this is... Dude, these are good. Yeah, really good. Kind of like sour, and the outside of the wontons, super delicate. And then inside, there's pork, and some nice seasoning in there, and then just coated in cilantro. This is beautiful. non-gluten eating guy's gonna have one more of those. That's amazing. I'm actually really excited to bring my wife here. I, I keep talking about my wife. Yeah. Are you gonna take her here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sometime probably in the next week or two I'm gonna take her here. Great. If you love beef noodle soup, if you like spiciness, if you like really dense, flavorful dishes, you have to come here. You just have to come here. Highly, highly recommended. You heard it from him too. The other places were delicious and I enjoy them, but I don't, this is making me happy. Yeah. All right. I think we're just going to uh, enjoy our meal here for a couple of minutes, uh, finish our lunch, and we'll just catch up with you guys outside in just a minute. All right, what a fantastic lunch. I really, really enjoyed that third beef noodle soup. I would say that's probably my favorite one of the ones we tried. What do you think? I'm going to agree with you. Yeah, I really enjoy it. The spice, actually, yeah. which surprised me. That was awesome. Uh, let me know which one you guys would prefer. Number one, which is the more traditional Taiwanese style. Number two, with those absolutely ridiculous belt noodles. Or number three, the kind of Sichuan spicy beef noodle soup. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys prefer. And of course, if you guys have your own personal favorite beef noodle soup, put the address down below and I would love to check it out. I think that's the end of the video. Thanks, man, so much for hanging out with me today. Dude, thank you for having me on this beef noodle adventure. I appreciate it. Yeah, always a pleasure, man. Go subscribe to Cole Fogel. Uh, my next food video series, I think, is going to be in Tainan City. Absolutely excited about that one. If you guys like this new series, give this video a big like. That way I know you're watching and excited to see more videos like this. And I think that's it. I will see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification button so you'll be notified immediately when I release new content, and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye guys.